So what's a man's weakness? Competition, other men, right? So rather than him love bombing you, you present competition. You tell the guy that you, you don't tell the guy that you're that you're seeing other people, but you insinuate it. Desirability is a social illusion. Its source is less what you say or do or any kind of boasting or self advertisement than the sense that other people desire you. To turn your target's interest into something deeper, into desire, you must make them see you as a person whom others cherish and covet. Desire is both imitative, we like what others like, and competitive, we want to take away from others what they have. As children, we wanted to monopolize the attention of a parent, to draw it away from other siblings. This sense of rivalry pervades human desire, repeating throughout our lives. Make people compete for your attention. Make them see you as sought after by everyone else. The aura of desirability will envelop you. You know, you don't let them see you as often. You create physical distance. Physical distance, again, a man cannot do nothing if, if during physical distance. You show strength by being willing to walk away. And you make him feel like that you're not easy to conquer. Right? So what that, what that causes a guy to stop thinking about how to use your weaknesses against you, but what you're actually doing is that you're weakening them. You're weakening their will by getting them emotional through presenting competition, through pulling away, through one, the other one, which is concealing your intentions, right? Keep people off balance and in the dark by never revealing the purpose behind your actions. If they have no clue what you are up to, they cannot prepare a defense. Guide them far enough down the wrong path, envelop them in enough smoke, and by the time they realize your intentions, it will be too late. By concealing your true, your true intentions, you can prevent others from manipulating you, from manipulating your actions and exploiting your vulnerability. Don't say some of your weaknesses. Don't say the things that get you. Don't say that that. It, that in the beginning, at least, that a guy used to hurt you, you know? Don't say that you consistently return to guys who played you. Don't tell guys things that they could use against you in the beginning. Don't give them any vulnerabilities at first, at first. Because then, once you, when people fall in love with you, they usually fall in love with your weaknesses, for the most part. Because it's your weakness that creates that sympathy, that love, that desire to protect you, right? But before you see that, before you let them have that, you have to know that they don't have any negative intentions. You have to protect your heart. And this is just us protecting our heart, protecting your heart by first testing them, by first using these strategies, creating a little bit of triangulation, creating a little bit of distance to see how do they react. Do they react with positivity or with toxicity, right? So that's one thing. So you gain leverage through concealing your intentions. So a lot of the times, a lot of women fuck this part up where they're just so emotional, so desperate that they tell the guy everything that they want. And then the guy uses that against them to manipulate them. You can't do that. Toxic individuals may use your weaknesses against you to manipulate and exert control over you. Here are a few common tactics they may employ. Exploiting vulnerabilities. Toxic people often identify your insecurities, fears, or past traumas and use them as leverage. They may intentionally trigger these vulnerabilities to make you doubt yourself, feel guilty, or become emotionally dependent on them. Gaslighting. Gaslighting is a manipulative tactic where the toxic individual distorts or denies your reality, making you question your own perceptions, memories, or sanity. They may make you feel like your weaknesses or concerns are invalid, causing you to doubt yourself and rely on their version of events. Emotional manipulation. Toxic individuals are skilled at playing with your emotions. They may guilt trip you use emotional blackmail or engage in passive aggressive behavior to manipulate your feelings and actions by exploiting your weaknesses they gain power over your emotions and decision making creating dependency toxic people may encourage dependency by undermining your confidence and self-esteem they may make you believe that you are incapable without their guidance thus ensuring that you rely on them for validation or decision making this dependency further empowers their manipulative control Criticizing and devaluing toxic individuals often belittle your strengths while magnifying your weaknesses. By constantly criticizing and devaluing you, they erode your self-esteem and create a sense of inadequacy. 
This makes you more susceptible to their manipulative tactics and control. So don't say your weaknesses at first. At first. And also get leverage by weakening their will their will and get them emotional. You prevent and you prevent active manipulation. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle, he's a, he's a bad uncle, get him. Shut up, Melissa, you should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So, for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create will be destroyed by the outside because your, your, fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're gonna be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal-oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know. It, you know. Now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and ex and facial expressions, surrendering control, and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's it's it, it, this will supercharge like like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women of power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace and even the dress code. They, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop destroy, and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really, most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.